Okay, welcome to video three. Uh, in the last two videos, we discussed uh, examples of things that you can get power from and that you can get power to. Uh, in this video, which is the last one where I just mindlessly explain and don't actually show you anything, um, I'm going to show you alternate ways to get power. Uh, this is just to kind of get you thinking about the kind of devices that you might be able to build, and uh, I may or may not be building some of those in. Uh, future videos as I go through piece by piece. Um, I also take requests, so please leave them in the comments. So, um, there is a trapped chest, which is uh, crafted with a, ch a normal chest and a tripwire hook. It's in creative mode, it's on the decoration blocks. If you were wondering why there's a chest here and a trap chest down here, that's why. The trap chest does redstone stuff. Um, the only difference between their appearance is a faint red outline around the latch. Uh, otherwise, it functions exactly the same as a normal chest, even coming in a double chest variety that also has a faint red outline around the latch. Um, the signal depends on how many people are accessing the chest. So, for this example here, if this was on a server, one person opening the chest, as I will do now, you can kind of see the particle effect around the edge here, um, indicating that this one wire of redstone has current and the rest do not. And that's a mechanic that will be discussed in a future video. Um, however, just to illustrate the point that opening the chest causes it to do stuff, I'm going to put a repeater here, and you'll hear these note blocks go off as soon as I open the chest. Just a really quick scale. So, um, that's what a trap chest does. Um, now there's the redstone comparator, that, which is a piece that was introduced in the redstone update. It's crafted with three redstone torches, a block of nether quartz, and um, three smooth stone. Now the redstone comparator is a really weird piece. Uh, it doesn't provide power by itself, but it does allow you to retransmit um, power, and it allows you to get power uh, from, or get information from things in the form of power. Uh, so, you know how hoppers work. I have a block of dirt up here, nothing in the hopper, and nothing in this chest down here because it is being powered by this lever. Um, as soon as I turn this lever off, dirt will begin passing through the hopper and into this chest, and because the hopper will be containing stuff at the time, um, this comparator will detect that, and you'll see part of this wire light up. So, as dirt passes through it, this comparator realizes it, that there's stuff in here, and it starts transmitting a signal. In this case, because there's only one block of dirt in there at a time, only this first wire is lit, which is why the second one, it does not give off a particle effect. Um, you can also use them to detect how much stuff is inside chests. So, grab some random pieces. Um, there's nothing inside of this chest right now. So, uh, none of this is lit up. If I throw just these few random pieces in there, it has a little bit of stuff, and this first wire is lit up. Um, the power is not strong enough to get to the second one yet, because there isn't enough stuff for the comparator to detect. However, if I throw all these stacks of stone in here, the number of items inside goes up drastically, and so does the current, it going a whole two blocks farther. Um, so this could be used in sorting systems or detecting if stuff was put into chest or how much stuff was put into chest. Uh, I actually have a minecart system that will automatically bring items up from your mine into your house that will get its own video later on. Uh, and so that's the type of thing you would use this for. Um, the dispenser and the dropper work the exact same way. Anything that has storage space, uh, which is chest, trap chest, um, uh, dispensers, droppers, hoppers, uh, like, both of these lamps are not lit up ahead of time, but by putting stuff inside of it, the comparator can detect it and therefore provide power. Um, finally, the is the jukebox. It's a cool piece, crafted with eight um, 
eight wooden planks and a diamond. Um, most people just know it for using the um, the discs that drop if you can convince a skeleton to kill a creeper, or if you get lucky and find them in a dungeon chest or something. Um, all of them are in here, but I've selected these two. Um, the jukebox is not playing anything currently, so it's not providing any power. Um, if I give it this disc, it provides a lot of power, and it goes fairly dark, far down the line. If I take that out and put in this one instead, it only goes to this first spot. Um, each CD... I don't like that song. Each CD has its own strength, so you can try it with each of them, and then there are ways to detect how exactly how far down this wire it is going. And you can actually build circuits that respond based on what music is being played in the jukebox. So that's the end of video 3, alternate power sources. In my next video I'm going to discuss basic logic gates and start getting into actually building functional, practical redstone circuits.